What's happening people? We're back with another video. It's been a while. It's almost been a week. Almost been a week. But do you know what it is, yeah? Um, after the last 2k, I wanted to make sure I hammer down with whatever team I had. Make sure I'm fully focusing on that. Um, and I can't lie, my, my creative juices ran out a little bit. So I was struggling for video ideas. But um, I've got a 2k this weekend. Actually tomorrow I'm filming this on Friday. So yeah, Saturday the 28th of May. I've got another 2k tournament. Um, and this is just the scrim um, that I played. I think I dropped like 44 kills in the gap hard point. So I thought I'd just have this running in the background. And yeah, I just thought I'd wanna wanna talk about some um, some things like some of the important information leading up to this 2K, I guess, and uh, for the foreseeable future. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah, so here we are. Uh, good view to half point. I'm just gonna let it run in the background. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna post the gameplay of me, um, just playing, but I wasn't streaming enough in, so I had to just clip it. And you know, what I mean, I've, I've, I've wanted to for a while. I've wanted to for a while, um, do some post. What's it called? Post commentary. I think it's called post commentary. Let me take some of the stuff out of the way. I ain't streaming right now. Uh, oh, no, not that. Yes, boom. All right. But yeah. Um, I thought I'd show this because I dropped like 44 kills. But yeah. Um, so let's start off with the team. So recently, we made a slight team change. Um, so we had me, T Lee, Gaza, and Stobbs. We've uh, now replaced Stobbs with Neon because Stobbs went to go play with his old team again. So we needed a new AR and Neon, um, who I played against in the last 2K. Who's also with Tilly and Gaza. He's um he's come to join us now. So it's now me on the main sub, Gaza's on the second sub, he's gonna be running the third AR on some maps. You got T Lee aka Tommy running the uh, the flex as I got a lovely two piece there to break the hill. Um and then you got Neon on the main AR. So that's that's the squad we're rocking with now. Um for the foreseeable future, hopefully. because um, we only have a couple couple two Ks. When he hit that all time, that that really annoyed me. Got under my skin, but yeah, um, we've only got a few two Ks and tournaments left until the end of the year, until uh, LCQs and champs and all that stuff. So, yeah, the more solid and stable the team, the better, I guess, to get more reps in and stuff. But um, yeah, we have we have that. Um, I mean, I don't know if they're going to announce it, but you know, if not, this is an exclusive. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be under the incentive, incentive, incentive. Uh, Orc, um, I believe Richie, or one of the owners is called Richie. Anyway, I've, I've not really spoken to him too much, but um, I know Tommy's um, Tommy's been with them for a little bit now, and you know he says they're good. He says they treat their players right and that. So um, it'll be a pleasure. It'll be a pleasure to work under them. Oh, Blitzik just got turned on. Damn, I can't lie. I was frying this map. This map, I was feeling myself. I was unstoppable. Look at that, making the players though, the smart play, wraps around the back. If you're wondering why I'm not looking at the cameras, because the screen's here that much now. Then I make a bad play, I shouldn't have killed him. All my teammates died on me, so I should have stayed alive. Yeah, is what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, we got the 2k tomorrow. Um, it's going to be good because this is, I think this is the first time this whole game I've had the full UK team. Every like team I've had this year. I've not only had, I think, a different team for every single 2k. I've also had to play with some sort of non-first language English speaking person. In fact, I, I, I'm probably making it hella confusing as I get a free piece here. Um, yeah, like, it's not a super important thing, right? Because most times when I play people like from Germany, Spain, Italy, France, whatever, they normally have good English, but because it's not their first language, they're not always, like, not able to instantly get the comms out as quick, but these guys, English is their first language, so... Small talk, which is an important aspect of the game. It's going to be flowing nicely. One off streaks here. Does he get it? Easy kill on the back, and he gets. Oh no, no rant. I get a streak here, and I shoot someone in the back. Um. Yeah, this. I'm. Yeah, this. This is crazy, man. Like, I know amateur COD is like very. What's the words? Volatile at times, but it's crazy, man. Like, I'm pretty sure every two kid has been like ten of them or nine or whatever, and I've been on a different squad like every single. One, whether I've got dropped or I've to find a new team, or whatever, it's crazy. Like, 
my luck with teams is just abysmal, I can't lie, but there's also some responsibility on myself as well to, uh, you know, work harder and keep myself at a certain level or keep improving, so the likelihood of me being on a stable team is higher, but anyway, enough of that, so we cover the fact that we've got Neil now instead of Stobbs, um, cover the fact that we're probably going to be under incentive, um, there's another thing I guess I could talk about, which is if some of you lot have been watching me for a while now, um, you'd have seen that I went to my first ever LAN event, which was uh, ran, an event ran by ACCL uh, in Sheffield. And there's going to be another one, I believe, on the 15th to the 16th of July. And it's going to be in Newcastle. And the craziest thing about this is, it's going to be in St. James's Park in the Newcastle and United Stadium. Like, this is like, obviously, we're not going to be on the foot pitch playing because amateur ecology isn't that big yet. I mean, I don't think any amateur anything is that big to fill a stadium that big um yeah it's gonna be i'm sure in the stadium somewhere i can't lie i'm mind blown that they've even got this like it's crazy that this is happening like i'm pretty sure it's gonna be the biggest amateur cod event ever that's been run out of like the official events so it's gonna be huge man and i really want to make sure I, I perform well um and i mean if i can win that'd be great but yeah, that's that, and hopefully we're going to be going there on the incentive with this team. Um, wow, Specs got smoked there, damn! Um, and yeah, so, we've covered the organisation we're probably going to be playing under, I've covered the event we're working towards, the 2k team. Let's talk a little bit now about scrims. So, scrims first with Stobbs, they weren't going too bad, they started off a lot better than they ended, I would say. Um, when we started off, our communication was really well, small talk was really good, you know, we were, our teamwork was on point, it seemed like we were flowing around the map together, and as we were playing more and more, I don't know if it's because like, we got too complicated of the system we wanted to play, or if it's just, I don't know, we just weren't trying in the same manner, um, but I think we just had a little decline in, I think we just had a little decline in performance, just the teamwork and everything to be honest, like, I just, we did, we did like progressively improve our scrims um, as we went on, so that could have been another um, factor as well, impacting it. Um, as I make another, lead, another great player to cut off a key route, top cliff here to stop any enemies hitting the point. I'm getting shot my back, unfortunately. Right now, I'm frying, leading the lobby of 31 kills. You know the vibes, people. You know the vibes. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this team, like, the, the scrims, they've not been going bad, they've not been going good. A lot of the mistakes we're making are the mistakes that you tend to not want to make, like the, the easy mistakes that are avoidable, but then again, they're sometimes the best mistakes to make because it shows, like, it doesn't discredit the potential your team has, you know, like, when your team is just getting blown out all the time and there's just, like, no fight in the team, then, like, it's kind of peak, but this team, like, we have, um... You have fighting us, we're, we're, you know, we're playing well, there's, there's potential there to be a great team. But like, there's just little mistakes and stuff that are being made. Um, just because we're just not playing on the same page and stuff like that. So we're just going to have to, you know, get in the lab, um, look over VODs together. Really nail down on the type of system we want to play and just stick to our fundamentals. And I'm sure if we, you know, if we play well, we sh should be able to win most of the series. Um... I mean, I think, yeah, we've, we've got a good group here, to be honest. Like, I, I enjoy, like, playing these. I don't know how these lot feel, but I enjoy getting on every day scrimming um, with this group. I mean, Tilly and Gaza, I've played with them once before. It was for, like, a very, very short time, for, like, three or four days. Um, but, you know, when I played with them, I did enjoy it. Obviously, that got caught short before Sheffield's. Um, and we're now playing again with Neon. Um, and, yeah, I mean... I feel like it can go well, to be honest. Um, from a personal level, um, I think with this team I play, I do play really well. I feel like the system sometimes can constrain me to play in a certain way. But I know like when I'm playing at my best, and this is an example of it, when I'm able to you know, almost just play at my best, be free, have the freedom to, to do what I know I can do, then, you know, there's not there's not many players out there that can stop me other than of course some of the top players who are a lot more knowledgeable on stuff but that's a whole nother whole nother topic. Of course you're the great reader. Um 
Okay, so I mean we're planning so I've talked about the organization. I've talked about um the team changes, talked about scrims have gone, talked about the event, over two K whatever. Um let's talk about this whole post com thing is kind of kind of weird. I've never really done this before. You lot tell me in the comments down below if I'm doing a good job in it. I I don't know. I don't know how good I'm doing. If you lot have any tips or whatever, I'm sure you lot watch a lot of YouTube tell me in it. Um what can we say? What can we say? Okay, so let's talk about our expectations for the 2K. Now, I'm not sure about Neon because, like I said, I've not really played with him much. This is the first time I'm playing with him. Um, but I know for sure, like, I've got top 32 this year quite consistently. Uh, Tilly and Gaz also have got it as well. Um, and consistency is also very good in competitive because, you know, it gives you a benchmark, a level of you know where you are. But, I mean, I think we've got it. That's with a pistol as well, by the way. Jesus Christ. We've got it enough now to the point, like, we're kind of tired of it now. Like, we, we want progress. Like, like alright, we've, you know, we've put our flag down. Like, cool. We've, we're confirmed, like, this level. But we want more, you know what I mean? Like, so that I think top, it's fair to say top 16 is where we're aiming. With our seed, we're probably going to have a tough game. And that's where pro points is always a bit annoying because, you know... Sometimes players who aren't as good get easier games for easier placements or whatever, but at the end of the day, you can only play who you have in front of you, so we're going to, you know, just focus on getting a top 32 again, because we want to consistently be at at least that level, and then top 16 game, if we can, you know, maybe, um, you know, take a respawn, take two SNDs, like most times it happens like that, or, you know, if we can take two respawns, one SND, or two NS, as long as we win three maps, that's what that matters, but yeah, top 16 is... What we'd be aiming for, I'd be really proud of us and the boys if we could achieve that. Um, and then after that, if we can do anything better than top 16 for now, it'd be really good. But yeah, it's all about progress. Um, I think this this team still still we need some work for sure, man. Like I'm not really happy where we are right now with how good we are as players, where we are positioned. But yeah, I'm not really happy. But yeah, boom, we ended it on 44 kills. I led the lobby. I mean, the close person to me had 33 kills, so. I mean, it was a pretty good map for me. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it, really. That's a little update um, of the, the background of the scrim gameplay as well. Post, post commentary, guys. The first time ever. So, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, 2K is happening tomorrow. So, um, if you do want to come watch, I believe it starts at 12 um, UK time. That's at 12 UK time. So, twitch.tv forward slash sunadf. That's where you can find me. Go drop a follow if you haven't already. Um, the stream will be live for the game um, and then of course after that I'm going to do a little post 2k vlog I'm kind of explaining how the games broke down how we're feeling a little bit of an in-depth inside and then maybe next week I might drop a legacy uh, leg another legacy episode I don't know a lot of you lot like that it's my most viewed video um, so yeah I might drop another one and yeah people man it's, it's good to be back it's good to be back I'm sorry I took too long to upload I've been getting a lot of subscribers recently I think we're up to 139 now um yeah man let's just keep let's keep making videos let's keep having fun keep enjoying let's keep growing all right? all right people appreciate i appreciate you coming to watch this video drop a like if you enjoyed it if you had a, if you had any sort of thoughts anything you wanted to ask me anything you thought i could have improved the video anything you want to see me do as a video drop it in the comments below literally just type it in it takes two seconds to send i promise i'll apply to anyone drop a like it helps with the algorithm getting the video out there show me that you enjoyed it as well and if you've not already subscribed, I, I'm going to post. I mean, I, I've been posting con consistently, I would say. I've been posting consistently. The content's been at a decent level as well. I mean, so it's free. Why not? So drop a sub, people. Your boy's Tana. And I'm out. Peace.